Hey everyone, I've got a few pro tips that I wanted to share with you that will hopefully elevate your photorealistic game. Pro tip one, photographers often use depth of field in their images to draw the viewer's eye to the subject. Depth of field is the blurriness that we commonly see in the foreground and the background of photographs. So why not use this same technique inside of Visualize? All you have to do in the camera tab is right click and create a new camera. Position and modify the focal length to your desired perspective. Generally, I use anything between about 20 and 200. From here, enable the depth of field option and select your focus point. And that will really help drive the viewer's eye. Not only is this cool, but it adds a great value benefit to Visualize Professional. We can create multiple cameras and you have the ability to queue them all up and render all at once, giving a ton of content to find the perfect final photo. Pro tip two, appearances are also critical when creating lifelike renderings in Visualize. Even though the appearances come across from SolidWorks, these are often not the most impactful photorealistic materials to be using. So try multiple materials and play around with them and try modifying different aspects. You'll see that tweaking things like the roughness or dialing in different colors, even playing around with displacement and bump maps can easily generate an ideal material for your photorealistic rendering. Oh yeah, and don't forget, save these out to your custom libraries later on reuse. Pro tip three, using backplates is another option for making a believable rendering come to life. Simply use an image taken from a DSLR or even your smartphone and drop that right into the back of the scene. If you do decide to go this route, make a quick note of lights in the actual scene that you snapped the photo from. For instance, if you have a window or another light source, you're gonna to need to try and replicate those as close as possible in the rendering environment. Also take note of the camera perspective, because we'll wanna keep this consistent from the backplate image to the final render as well. These will really help generate out a photorealistic image in no time. Pro tip four, oftentimes things just don't look quite right in Visualize and you might not be able to pinpoint it. When you're importing your model, I always like to enable the monitor file option in case the model needs to be modified for the rendering. Specifically, we often have to go back and knock out hard edges. These can give an unrealistic look, and technically speaking, a perfect edge doesn't really exist in the real world, so why would we want to render them? Going back to the CAD model and adding a quick fillet to the model can really clean up those edges for a much more appealing final render. Now those are just a few of my favorite pro tips that I wanted to share with you to keep in mind when you're setting up your rendering environments. The more you start to play with them and get creative, the quicker you'll become a master of photorealistic renderings.